Hi, my name is Colette Christian, and today I'm going to show you how to make amazing croissant dough by hand. We're starting with milk and yeast in a big mixer bowl, and the next thing we're going to add is non-fat dry milk powder. Going to whisk that in. That gives our croissant dough a little extra flavor. And then I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour. I'm going to add the sugar, the butter, and last, the salt. When you're working with any yeasted dough, you want to add the salt last. Because if we add the salt too early, let's say we'd thrown it on top of the milk and the yeast, we could potentially kill the yeast, and we don't want to do that. So my tools for mixing this dough by hand, as you can see, no mixer. This is a dough whisk and a bowl scraper. So the dough whisk has a little piggy tail, and I'm starting with that toward the bottom of the bowl. And I'm going to whisk and whisk, and you have to really lean into it. It's a good workout. And you want to use a large bowl, because if you use a small bowl, you will throw more flour onto your work surface than I'm doing right now. I'm rotating the bowl because I'm trying to get this dough really become a cohesive mass. So I kind of grab it and turn it. All right, so now I'm going to clean the dough whisk because there are some wet spots on the dough that I want to incorporate into the rest of the dough. We do it to hydrate the dough and to combine ingredients. Now I'm going to get in here and again, I'm rotating the bowl. I'm literally mashing, pressing the dry ingredients into the dough. And my goal is to have very little residue in the bottom of my bowl. When you mix by hand, the initial getting the dough together, you have to keep at it. Put your upper body into it. Who needs the gym when you can make bread? Now. No flour down. Push, fold, turn. Push, fold, turn. Push, fold, turn. I'm going to do that about four times. And as I do that, you can see that the dough is less dry because I'm working moisture through it. Once I get comfortable with my push, fold, turn, I kind of take a more rock'em, sock'em robot approach. And I go right left, right, left. And you can see the dough is actually beginning to look decent. Not quite pretty yet, but decent. It's a little sticky, so if you look at it, it looks pretty rough. But give me about 30 seconds, and we'll have something good. When we make croissant dough, we do not need it as long as we do a regular bread dough. So you bread bakers out there, you may be surprised to know that I'm only going to need this about three minutes. And we are almost done. That three minutes, I've been counting since I dumped it out onto the table. We want the dough to be underdeveloped. That's it, right there. Now, it's just been a couple of minutes. Unlike a fully developed bread dough, it doesn't spring back, but it does look nice and tidy. So what I'm going to do is I will butter a bowl, plop this dough in it, then I'm going to flip it over, cover it with a piece of plastic wrap, let it sit at room temperature for an hour, and then it goes into the refrigerator overnight to develop some flavor. Now you've got your dough. For everything else you need to know to turn this into beautiful croissants, Check out my class, 